What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So in the last video, we just got through the updated list of the top 10 hardest hitting TURs in the game courtesy of our beloved Dokkan mathematicians on the Dokkan subreddit, namely Kariru2, Kamino Segi, and uh, Trash Guy Bob. So a huge shout out to those three. Oh, by the way, if you guys missed that video, feel free to go check it out through the link above my head over there. Actually, no, it's over there. So yeah, go check it out through that link. But uh, right now, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the updated top 10 hardest hitting uh, LRs list as of today, April 19th, 2021, from the same guys. So once again, shout out to Kariru2, Kamino Segi, and Trash Guy Bob. And just like before, same disclaimer, the uh, you know methods they use, the parameters they use to make these attack calculations, might be different from what you use if you are a Dokkan mathematician as well. So your personal rankings might be different from you know what they have here, which is totally fine, but definitely keep that in mind. And also a few rules to remember as we go through this list. Number one, each unit is calculated based on an average of 4.5 turns. Each unit is at rainbow status or 100% in the hidden potential system. And they're also calculated on their optimal teams, which is the team that allows for the uh, hardest hitting rotation. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start here with the five honorable mentions, which is number 15 to 11. And then we'll get into the, you know, real list, the main list, which is 10 to 1. So at number 15, the 15th hardest hitting LR in the game right now, is LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, better known as the LR Blue Boys, which is not really surprising. At number 14 though, we have AGL LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who, I mean, is pretty damn old compared to a lot of the other units on this list. So I think that's actually very impressive that he's still holding a top 15 spot. So yeah, number 14, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Number 13, we have the former best unit in the entire game, uh, LR, Kale, and Khalifla. And number 12, we have uh, one of the newest LRs from the 6th anniversary, which is the LR Team Universe 7. And number 11 is LR Super Saiyan 2 uh, Gohan from the BoJack movie. So those are your top five. No real surprises. I mean, except for the fact that I thought maybe Super Saiyan 4 Goku would have fallen off at this point since he is the you know one of the fourth anniversary LRs but it's cool to still see him here he still does hit very hard especially with the active skill so uh I guess I can't be too surprised but yeah those are your uh I was gonna say top five no your bottom five of this list number 15 to 11 honorable mentions and now we're gonna get into the main list I'm sure you already saw who number 10 is so let's just uh, get into it here. Number 10, we have one half of the 6th anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest, LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And in terms of the factors that went into his calculation, uh, he had 20 key on average in slot 2. And for his links, oh, actually, let me uh, quickly remove my face here so I don't block anything. Yeah, so uh, 20 key average, slot 2. Uh, link up times, godly power, prepare for battle, prodigies, TOP, um, fierce battle, and legendary power are all at 100%. Oh, never mind, no. So most of them are at 100%, but prodigies is at 33% uptime. And for his hidden potential system, he had 15 additional and 6 crit, which of course makes the most sense considering he does have a built in high chance to crit. And uh, he's under his own leader skill. Average support of 0.00, so basically no support factored in here. And he has an average defense of 185,013 and supported attack per turn of 12,512,284, which of course is very, very high. It's very good, but it's only good enough for number 10 on this list. From there, moving on to number 9 we have the only LR that I am missing on global. I don't want to talk about it too much, but hopefully he becomes available in the Bob Shop soon because uh, he's awesome. 
We have LR Jiren, Tech LR Jiren at number 9. 22 key average, 0% active skill uptime because, of course, if you guys have used LR Jiren, you know that it takes a long time to get those hits in to use the active skill. So since they're calculated on an average of 4.5 turns, it's 0% active skill uptime factored in here. 90% super effective rate and 38% crit rate on additional attack and link up times, godly power, TOP, supreme warrior, and fierce battle at 100% each. And then he's under his own leader skill and 15 additional and 11 crit in the hidden potential system. He has an average support of 70% and I believe that's for attack specifically. So 70% attack support on average and he has average defense of 263,768 and supported attack per turn of 12,967,029, roughly 450,000 more than LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Keep in mind, this is only for, you know, um, attack per turn or like who hits harder. We're not talking about like who's the better unit, right? Because I think uh, objectively, SSB Vegeta is better than Jiren, you know, overall, but Jiren does hit a little bit harder on his, you know, optimal rotation, optimal team, okay? So from there, at number 10, no, sorry, uh, I got confused. We're at number nine right now. Moving on to number eight, we have LR Rose from the fifth anniversary. Uh, a couple notes here, 20 key on average, 0% active skill uptime, which makes sense, 100% full passive uptime, and for his links, we have 100% uptime on Fierce Battle and Big Bad Bosses, and that's it. And uh, in terms of his uh, hidden potential, it's 6 additional, 15 crit, under the Tech Janemba leader skill, average support for attack of 80.67%, and he will have an average defense of 193,970, and average supported or sorry, supported attack return of 12,998,900 and 77, which is only slightly higher than Jiren by about 30,000, and of course Jiren has quite a bit more defense, so I would say Jiren's, in my opinion, the better unit for sure, but Rose does hit slightly harder than Jiren does. And then we have number 7, LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, who's actually available on Global right now through the legendary summon banner, so if you guys are missing him and you really want him, uh, now's a, a, a chance to, to grab a copy, okay? So, uh, yeah, number 7, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, 23 key average, 45% active skill uptime, 100% super special super uptime or partner super attack, or uh, I think the actual name is unit super attack uptime. And then for the links, we got Super Saiyan, Supreme Warrior, uh, full... Hold on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these two at 100%. And then, wait, is SWR, no, Saiyan Warrior Race, my bad, not Supreme Warrior. Saiyan Warrior Race and Super Saiyan at 100% uptime. Fierce Battle at 90 or 67. I can't read numbers right now, man. It's going to be a problem. 67% for Fierce Battle and 67% uptime for Legendary Power. The leader skill is the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and 11 additional and 15 crit in the hidden potential system and an average support of 46.67%. So he will have average defense of 307,098 and a supported attack return of 13,226,058 for seventh place, roughly 228,000 more, or 227,000 more than number eight, which is LR Rose. So there you go, number seven, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. Amazing unit overall, and also happens to have my second favorite OST in the game, which uh, you guys are currently hearing right now. Okay, number six, we have Tech LR Broly. Nobody should be that surprised that this guy is on this list and also fairly high, because uh, he's still an insanely, insanely crazy damage dealer. Uh, he has 20 key average here, 8% uptime versus multiple enemies. And for the links, we have uh, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power at 100% uptime each. We have 6 additional and 20 crit in the hidden potential system. Under the Int Legendary Super Saiyan Broly Leader Skill, average support of 30% attack 
and uh, average defense of 144,921 and supported attack return of 13,588,159, which is about 360,000 more than Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. Next up, number five is LR uh, Vegito slash Goku and Vegeta. So for the notes here, we have alternating slots for most counters, makes sense. 23 key, key average untransformed, 24 key average transformed, and 33% transformation uptime. Link up times 100% for prepare for battle. Saiyan Warrior Race is 11.16%, 33% for Fuse Fighter, Power Bestow by God, Super Saiyan, and Kamehameha, and 100% for Fierce Battle. And he's under his own leader skill, 6 additional and 20 crit in the hidden potential system, an average support of 16.67%. Average defense of 185,185 and supported attack return of 14,591,021, which is a 1 million increase from Tech Broly in number 6. And after that, we have number 4, the other half of the 6th year anniversary Dual Tokon Fest LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. He has second super guaranteed to crit. 0% active scale uptime, and for the links, prepare for battle, godly power, kamehameha, top, uh, fierce battle, and legendary power at 100% uptime, and uh, for the hidden potential, 20 additional, 6 crit under his own leader skill, 13.33 average support, and average defense of 230,112, and supported attack return of 14,788,028, which is only a little bit higher than... Uh, you know, the STR Vegito about 200,000, or rather just under, yeah, 200,000. But still, hitting super hard, good defense, obviously the uh, revival skill is extremely clutch, so just an amazing unit, man. Yo, for my gold players watching this right now, I can't wait. I, I can't wait for the anniversary, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so that's number four. Number three, surprise, surprise, LR Turles, who saw this coming? I did. Some people might not have, because uh, I know, you know, Turles is not like the most popular character. And I think, uh, you know, even though some people know just how amazing he is, I don't think everybody knows. I don't think any everybody recognizes just how much of a beast he is. So uh, yeah, he's beast enough to be number three on the top uh, 10 hardest hitting LRs list. He has 70% uptime on 24 key. Unfortunately, 0% active skill uptime, but he's gonna have 24 key most times anyways, so it uh, doesn't matter too, too much, you know? And uh, for his link up times, there's uh, Big Bad Bosses, uh, TFC, what does TFC stand for again? Terrifying, no, not Terrifying Conquerors. Yo, I'm totally blanking right now. I'm totally blanking right now, I actually know this. Okay, either way, that's 100%. You guys can go check LR Turles and tell me <laughs> what it is. <laughs> and then we have Fierce Battle at 100%, and then Prepare for Battle and um, Destroyer of the Universe at 33%. And then for the leader skill, it's under the STR Bojack leader skill, 15 additional, 11 crit, and 84% average support. That's crazy. 84% average support, average defense of 292,878, and supported attack return of 17,338,133. Uh, it's like, yo, that that's like 2.5 million more, right? About there, 2.5 million more than fourth place LR Super or Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. Um, man, I'm still trying to think what TFC is. Terror, it's not terrifying. I just keep thinking of terrifying. Uh, for Conquest. Thirst for Conquest. There we go. There we go. Okay, yo, I would have been so pissed if I ended this video without remembering what that was. So, uh, yeah. Thirst for Conquest is TFC. There we go. From there, we have number two. The latest LR Extreme Z Awakening. Right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, <laughs> LR Broly. The STR LR Broly. One of the OG 90% LR leads. Um, 20 key average, 
1.1445312.5 enemy average and 0.3203125 uptime versus Goku's family. Um, we have 100% uptime for basically all of his links except for one. Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And then we have the uh, Int Broly as the leader. 6 additional, 20 crit, 30% average attack support, and um, average defense of 220,288, and supported attack return of 17,895,024. Super impressive. Not surprised though, because uh, he is just ridiculously, ridiculously powerful, man. I mean, that is EZA. All I can say is I can't wait for the other ones. I can't wait for Trunks. Cause he needs it. I can't wait for Gohan, cause he needs it. Yo, imagine how hard Gohan's gonna hit with that easy A. I'm excited. Uh, number one! Number one! Who's surprised? Who saw this coming? I think everyone did. I, I think everyone saw this coming. We have, of course, the uh, LR Goku and Frieza. Still number one, still reign supreme. I mean, they did, you know, just get an easy A too, so... Uh, they got a pretty significant boost, even though they were already at the top of this list before the EZA. So now they're just even higher on the list with the EZA. Um, some some notes here. We got the Tien rotation. We got 24 key average, 1.6 key from uh, PS. 1.6 key from PS. What does PS mean? I feel like I should know this. Uh, we'll get back to that. 95% debuff uptime. And for the links, over in a flash, experience fighter, solid support, TOP, uh, fierce battle, and legendary power at 100%, shocking speed at 33%. And then for the uh, leader skill, it's under their own leader skill, 6 additional, 20 crit in the hidden potential system, and average support of 50% attack, um, and average defense is 341,309, and supported attack per turn is 19 million. 972,638. Damn, I mean, what is there to say about that? They are just ridiculous. I didn't even think they needed an EZA to start with, but they got it, and now they're just even more ridiculous. Um, it's pretty awesome. It, it, it's pretty awesome. I mean, I know some people are going to be like, why did they, like... It wasn't. It wasn't necessary, you know. Like, why did they need to do that? But it, it's a, it's a, it's a PVE game, right? Like, unless they introduce PVP, where like you know, super OP units will become a problem. I don't really uh, have an issue with it, you know. If they want to do this for for other, you know, more recent LRs, I'm, I'm here for it, you know. I, I'm here for it. So, um, yeah, it's cool. I. Yeah, it's not much else to say, man. Like they're they're just an insane unit, and uh, I'm excited for the EZA on global for sure for the anniversary. And uh, what what's the difference here? About two million, yeah, about two point one million over the LR Broly. So it was already a huge jump from four to three, and now it's an even bigger jump from two. Wait, no, hold on, that's not how it works. Okay, it's, it's not as big of a jump, but still a pretty massive jump from 2 to 1. And I don't really... I think it's going to be a while before we get another LR that dethrones Goku and Frieza. Obviously, they could always just drop like a super OP one, like tomorrow, and uh, prove me wrong. But yeah, I think they're going to hold this spot for quite a while, just like the number one TUR on the TUR list. Once again, go check it out, guys, if you haven't seen it. it's uh, It was pretty surprising. The, the number one unit. I, I was shocked at least. I, I didn't expect it, but um, this one I fully saw coming. So there you go, guys. That is today's video. Once again, shout out to our brilliant mathematicians on the Dokkan subreddit for creating this list. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you were surprised by any of this stuff. I apologize for some of my confusion in this video. I swear, I, I, I know stuff about Dokkan. I just... Uh, it's been a long day, man. My brain is uh, kind of shutting down. Uh, there's not much I can do about that, but... <laughs> there you go, guys. Top 10 hardest hitting TURs as of April 2021. It'll probably be a few more months, or maybe like six more months before we get another list. But for now, Goku and Frieza at the top. Everybody else here, I mean, to be expected. No real surprises here.
But uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Oh, hold on. I forgot to uh, put my face back in here. Uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.